Oh, good news, you can actually do all this stuff. You're allowed. What's up, socials? Happy Sexy Wednesday. Yesterday we talked about what you should not do to get your first email subscribers. Today we're gonna talk about what you should do because we gotta end on a happy note, right? I know it can be frustrating when you start your email list and there's nobody there and you're like, what do I do? I need to grow this thing quickly so I actually have people to email. You're absolutely right. But most people don't think to look at what they've already got going on. In real life events, online assets, social media, anything. What's already working and how can you redirect that energy into your database, your email list? You need to leverage what you already have and direct the traffic there. It always seems like it's supposed to be assumed that you want people to join your list because it's somewhere hiding in the sidebar, etc. But it's really not, and you have to talk about it a lot for people to even think twice about it. They're following you on Facebook, they're following you on Twitter, they see you at an event every single month, they probably just think that's good enough. You have to give them a reason why they should join that list and talk about it. Especially if they already know, like, and trust you, they're gonna be more than willing to do it. But the next part is that incentivizing. You really need to give them that reason. It can't just be keep up with us, yada, 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 because they'll feel like they're already doing a pretty good job of that. Trying to convince somebody they're not doing a good enough job of keeping up with you always leads to an additional incentive anyway. So you might as well be upfront about it. You'll notice for Amy's Elite, if you go to join the email list, the first thing that I say to you is, hey, if you put your email address here, you get a download. It's called the five things you need to know before you create your first video. That's my incentive. That's my little nugget of information that I'm gonna give you in return for your contact information. You have to think about what your audience already wants from you. Maybe it's something that they could buy from you, whether it's services, information, whatever. And when you make it just good enough, they're more than willing to give you their email address in return for it. Think about the $100 mark. What can you offer somebody that's worth 100 bucks worth a hundred bucks. That would be more than enough for you just to get their contact information. You're not necessarily giving away a hundred dollars. No, 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 no. You have to think about what it means to actually have that contact information on your list in the long run. Being able to send them emails about products and specials and additional incentives that move the needle for your business. It's not about the giveaway. It's about the relationship of that person and making it easy for them to decide to take a next step. So those are really, really big things that you need to keep in mind. Mind, leveraging what you already have and incentivizing. That is how you get people on your list, especially the early days when there's not very many people. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. This episode has been brought to you by aweber.com, which is the only email marketing platform that I trust with my database, my email addresses of all the socials that want to keep up with SavvySexySocial.com. I definitely recommend you go to SavvySexySocial.com slash 500 email subscribers because that's that's my free video course that's coming out this Friday to help you get to that 500. Or even if you already have email subscribers, what can you do to boost the organic growth of that list? You're gonna wanna get in on that, so go to SavvySexySocial.com slash 500 email subscribers. And I'll be back tomorrow with your Social Thursday as scheduled, so make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. See you there.